Hi. I'd like to talk some about existence and love and God and everything that comes to my mind, <clears throat> maybe through the heart, through past memories, <clears throat> whatever there is. But there's a big urgence that's seeping into me each day. It just seems that uh, it's more and more renewed that <clears throat> this uh, feeling I have, this, this heartfelt surge of renewal every day. It's it's uh, <clears throat> that well of never running water. Uh, gotta spread it and, and let people know that you know you wake up you know come on uh, I see what people are talking about and it took so long for me so I understand <clears throat> others that just walking around just thinking they have it good have plateaued to their uh, complacency and their their satiety uh, satiety you know being satisfied I don't say everything correctly and probably mumble a lot and it's hard to hear me I'm sure sometimes and I get to talk and then forget that there's an audience out there that I'm trying to reach and that's a big message and I uh, don't want to downplay it any and, and that uh, this is uh, for your soul you know there's nothing more important at all and, and I kind of just swept that to the edge of my mind most of my life that I'll get to it, you know, it's it's really that important, I mean, you know, I say I believe in Jesus, uh, I say I believe in God, is, and is that enough, you know, I mean, but to live it, to actually consider it day by day, minute by minute, moment by moment, that's where I'm at now, this last, uh, this year, and, <clears throat> you know, there's a spiritual baptism that I believe it happened uh, and then uh, after that, I, I went and had a uh, water baptism uh, through the church and during the service just so I could show people that I, I believe, you know, I, I want that conviction out there and, uh, you know, not so much for me, but for others that, you know, it's it's easy to do. And uh, for so long, you know, the invitation from the pastor would be come up here and get baptized and. Uh, all those who want to get saved, and it's like, oh, I want to, I want to, but I, I never did for years, and, you know, uh, now that confidence, uh, that love is just bursting forth, and it just, it feels so much that I gotta seep it out, you know, and then it gets filled the next day, and then each day it brings new, and uh, not just newness, but uh, more confidence, and ability to want to reach people, and uh, say my part that you know there's so much out there you know found the treasure and you know just bury it in the ground and then uh, not share it this is a treasure you share with everyone there's there's enough for everyone and it's it's never ending it's always and there's just more memories to make and more service to God that it isn't even a service in my mind it becomes a love, you know, love to a capacity that is inapproachable by our unbrokenness and our our imperfections, and that's where eternity comes in, where we can build on that step by step in the glory of God and in His grace. And there's so much that it's just hard to get out there and, and try to get people to wake up and see that. This is your soul we're talking about, and your livelihood, and this, you think this planet here is special, and this uh, world that uh, you can gain all kinds of material goods that, you know, it's the material you see and use, that uh, what's it do for you? It, it, it makes you feel better, and where does that feel come from? Your heart, and it's just a temporary, but you want everlasting love? It's out there. It's bathing you right now. It's vibrating. It's out there all over the world, encompassing everyone. And <clears throat> people believe in different gods and say Allah or God or whatever name you want to give them. It doesn't matter. There's only one true God, and that's the God of love. 
And however else you want to interpret it, it's loving each other. And if you can stand next to someone regardless of their creed or their denomination or what have you, if they can put a smile on your face or vice versa through love and in commonality, that's the spirit. That's where we all have the same thing. Spirit. <clears throat> There's no race of spirit, no color, no creed of spirit. <clears throat> it's all love. <clears throat> And I get it now, and, and uh, when I say I get it, it's just little bitty, you know, I mean, there's this shadow world, uh, the true realities are just filtered down, and uh, what's even true and truth is is still just a uh, filtered down, dumbed down expression that to know truth, to actually live it and be it is something that you you gain, and I believe, in the spirit realm, and, and it's a, a ways off to get there, and uh, this phase here is like a larva phase and the next phase is like a cocoon but you're not encased in you know just a cocoon metamorphosizing by whatever uh, uh, instincts or aspects or whatnot uh, <clears throat> this is a learning and, uh, <clears throat> and continuance to uh, remodify your your capabilities and capacities of uh, reception for those true realities to where you can become a uh, soul uh, solely spirit <clears throat> to where you, you can find God and actually stand in his presence <clears throat> not just the father but the eternal son the infinite spirit and all those other personalities out there that have been working for us and we even know it there's ones probably standing right next to you and you don't even see it it's like trying to teach your kids, uh, I mean, not your kids, your pets about God. And you can just keep telling them, telling them over and over and over and over and over. And it's like, what else can I do to get these, uh, to reach them, to understand? And that's probably these spirit beings that are ministering to us. They're like, what else can I do? Uh, let's see, let's, how, you know, how do you do it without messing with their free will? I mean, that's a job that, you know, would take all kinds of, uh, skills and whatnot i can't even imagine that but trying to get to some of these people out here uh for uh that love to share and once you get there and whatever approach that it's necessary i'm trying to find whatever way it is and and as long as i radiate that love and and try not to get angry which that's becoming even less and less in my life people can step on my toes or or do whatnot and i just don't go that route anymore i don't get angry the angriest i get are these silly little mosquitoes and bugs that are trying to bite me <clears throat> but that's okay because it only itches for a little bit and goes away whatever but uh but people and and god's creation uh, it's hard even uh to to kill wasps or whatever but it's a whole different story and uh, anyway uh just want to get out there this urgency uh i gotta talk about god and and that it's it's just gotten to such a terrible point where you know people can't even uh, uh talk or vocalize about god at at work or at uh school without feeling like they're gonna offend somebody every sense of them it's like what kind of culture are we in we can't even talk about a loving god that is always there for us what does that say about us humans that we've gotten to that point where we don't even want to discuss god on a daily basis Come on, guys. This is your souls we're talking about. <clears throat> this material world is going to go by, and, and there's going to be lots of personalities and souls that are just watching, and, and I don't know what it all is going to be. I've not been there. I just feel in my heart what's true, what's accurate. I'm not going to fathom and grow stronger each day in my faith. And it's just exponentially blew up this year and it just keeps going every day more and more and more I just want to reach everybody as much people as possible to try and uh, get them to understand you know pick up the Bible read Isaiah that's a great place uh, not all of it in my mind's accurate and I think that's part of the problem and why Jesus didn't write his own Bibles because it had been distorted and and uh, transcribed and rewritten over so many times that 
it uh, may have got distorted to the point that people were like, well, if it's if this part's not right, then I'm not going to believe any of it. And, and it's like, well, let's use our minds and, and actually, you know, look through some stuff and you can see truth and not just the Bible. You can see truth in poems and in writings and, and you can see truth in nature and, and all kinds of things when it when you look with your heart and you understand with your heart. such an amazing thing it's just it gives me goosebumps daily <laughs> daily I tell you anyway it's great uh talking to you and getting on here and shout out to my cousin shared awareness you know check him out sometime uh, he's got some great insight and talking about a, a loving character in the forefront of his mind and and we just compliment each other on uh, different personalities but all same goals is loving everyone and trying to do the the best to improve our lives daily not just think about us but the people around us it's not always about us <clears throat> alright guys take care and love y'all night